you think gaming, maybe you think Nintendo, Sega, Atari, Gottlieb, Tektronics, or maybe you think Zavix. Wait, wait, what? That's right, it's not a bird, it's not a plane, it's not a DVD player, it's not a modem, it's the Zavix port. So the Zavix port was released in 2004, uh, which keep in mind, that's a few years pre-Wii, which is important to note. So what is the Zavix port? Well, I mean, it's obviously a game console, but more specifically, this is basically just Wii Sports. And it's, like I said, it's pre-Wii. So, uh, you know, the question which came first, the Zavix or the Wii? Nintendo, the Zavix came first. I demand the answers, Satoru Iwata! So, uh, there are many interesting things about this console thing. And uh, one of the first things of note is that it does take cartridges, and here's one of them. This is a Zavix port cartridge from Zavix Games. This is Zavix Tennis. But what's interesting about it is, uh, first off, the way you put the cartridge into the console, what you do is you set it on this square, <laughs> and then you push down and slide in. I, I, you know, as interesting as that is, we've only just begun. Another thing you'll notice about the Zavix Pro right up, right up front is that it's got a lot of buttons on it. These buttons actually control and do things in-game, primarily menu navigation. Um, and the reason for that is that the Zavix's game, the Zavix is played, its games used, controllers like this. This is the Zavix baseball controller, and it's basically a huge plastic bat uh, that does motion recognition. You know, another interesting thing about the Zavix port is that unlike the, the Wii, uh, even the, the PS Move, it doesn't have a sensor bar or an eye, it doesn't have anything, any attachment to receive motion. Uh, what, it, what it does is it has an infrared sensor built in, right there. That is what picks up your motion, that's your built-in sensor bar. Now the big question though is how does the Zavix port perform? Uh, well, I guess the quick teaser here is, uh, imagine Wii Sports if Wii Sports were released for the Super Nintendo. Uh, that is really what the Zavix port is all about, both in terms of appearance and responsiveness. But that's all I'm going to give you now because we're going to go through each of the games that our good pal Chip sent us one by one. First up is Zavix Baseball. Stay tuned for that, Undertoads. We're looking at the future uh, through the past. The future came... Uh, it, it, it turns out the future came four years ago. It's been here all along in the form of the Zavix port the time of its release it makes it kind of an interesting footnote in the annals of gaming history and at least it complies with part 15 of the FCC rules I mean it has that going for it 